Oof, how is everybody today? It is super hot. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long it's been since we've had rain here in the Houston area. It's been three weeks, four weeks, and the rain we had was not very good. Anyway, I thought I would talk about an invasive weed that is a problem here in Houston. And I'm really just gonna show you what it is, talk a little bit about it, and let you know you should pick it. It is called mulberry weed or uh, hairy crab weed. It's Fatua villosa and this is it. I've got a whole bunch of it because it grows in my garden and yard and readily seeds itself if you don't uh, pick it up. So let me see if I can find a good plant. So all the clusters are at each of these little leaf nodes here. So there, there's one there. And this is not a plant you just wanna like pick up and drop in the in, in the grass. You're gonna wanna, well, I dropped it in the grass. <laughs> I shouldn't. Um, but this is not one you wanna just like chop and drop or leave in the garden. You want to actually like get rid of it. Throw it in the trash can or if you don't mind put it in the grass, that's fine. I actually like to put them in a like black uh, two, three gallon pot uh, with my other weeds. They kind of just sit in the sun and die. And then I dump it in the in the yard and it will, uh, you know, decompose. But it's also called mulberry weed because as you see, kind of looks like a mulberry leaf. So this is an actual mulberry leaf I have. And especially when I didn't have any super young seedlings that I could just pull up, but when they have, you know how mulberries have that the lobing when they're very young sometimes? These kind of do that too. So um, when I first was learning about, oh my God, that thing's gonna annoy the crap out of me. When you first, uh, when I first started seeing these, I thought they were like young mulberries, and so I left them. And uh, they're not, but they are. Re they are related. They are in the Moraceae family. They're, they're these two are related, but uh, you don't want this one. I believe is from, you know, Asia somewhere like that. From what I read, that uh, started popping up in the, uh, the horticulture industry in the '60s, but nobody really like did much about it until or saw much about it until like the 90s is when it really started picking up. But I see this uh, in natural areas, along pathways. I see this a lot um, on the side of the road, gardens. Uh, but yeah, if you see this in your in your garden, hairy crab weed or mulberry weed, get rid of it. And I'm gonna do some more videos of this for other plants in the Houston area that are troublesome that you're gonna to wanna to have to keep an eye on in your yard that you should be on top of. Um, and it's gonna be hard to eliminate some of these species entirely from being problematic, but if you're to keep it under wraps in your yard, I highly recommend it. All right, y'all uh, stay cool out there. It is a hot one.